goddesses and gods to see the god in me. Before I go any further, to all of my queen goddesses, to all of my fellow king gods, and to all of the beautiful, lovely star seeds out there, I see you. I love you. This video right here clearly sh shows and, and, and further underlines my point that Mother Universe and Mother Nature and Mother Earth is doing their fucking job. Our sky brothers and sisters of her turn, they are moving Earth in a position where as though the North Pole is settling over Europe and Russia. All over there. They are getting earthquakes and volcanoes, tsunami and all kinds of bad terrain weather. They're not showing you this on your local news. Let me tell you something. This is a spiritual fucking war. There's no violence here. You have the ability to wipe these people right out of your life. We don't really need our sky brothers and sisters here. But let me tell you something. If you look or you do any research and you look at where that solar eclipse is starting from and where it's ending up at, it's going across all the southern states where they had my grandmother, where they had our grandmother chained up in the basement, raping her, doing experimentations on her, digging inside of her womb. James Miriam Sims, that doctor, the most revered doctor, James Miriam Sims, was a savage. And now Mother Earth and Mother Nature is tired. She has awoken. And she said it's enough. It's a time. It's time to walk. To, it's time to wipe away all of this evilness that has plagued this planet and the goddesses and the gods of this earth. You have destroyed our grandmother, broke her down mentally and physically. And now Mother Earth and Mother Nature is speaking loud and clear. They are not showing you this shit on the news. You should see what's going on through them southern states. Hell storms, snowballs, the hell, hell snowballs, the size of fucking baseballs coming down, destroying cars. Three, four tornadoes popping up at one fucking time. Crazy clouds just popping up in the sky. Giving you the warning It is letting you know that it is enough. It is time for you to go back to where you belong in the cold for what you have done. My brothers and sisters, my queen goddesses, my fellow king gods, you are fucking great. You are infinite light beings. This whole time for the last 7,000 to 12,000 years, we have been asleep, my people. And they have constantly been putting us to sleep by uh, working on our God our grandmother that is our god of humanity here on earth it ain't a planet in this solar system that you can go to and the black woman is not the god of humanity this entity came in and created these races of people and they have been raping and, and, and molesting the minds and the vessels of our grandmother ever since. They have been training her to train us. I want you to really think and look at this fucking school system. I really want you to think and look at this political system, my people. This is why this shit is happening the way it's happening. This justice system, this economic, we shouldn't pay for nothing. We don't need no laws. We have the 42 laws of my eye already in our DNA. I don't need to be told not to molest a motherfucking child. I don't need to be told not to take a life. I don't need to be told not to harm another another loving life. That's an animal that's doing that. And we have adapted some of those ways. But now mother is speaking loud and fucking clear. These Now these people want to pack churches and pray to the gods up in the sky, our sky brothers and sisters. When God has been walking in front of you for the last seven to 12,000 years and you have done nothing but rape and destroy her, nothing. But now she is speaking back for all the bodies that you left in the ocean. Feel her wrath, feel my grandmother, Hell has no scorn like a hell has no fury like a woman scorn. 
feel my grandmothers, feel my brothers, my sisters, my aunts, my uncles, my little nieces and nephews, feel them. Y'all think this shit is just something that's happening? The sun is removing you. Mother's sun is removing you. Ra is in the sky burning at a high rate. The magnetic field, this planet is enveloped with electron feminine energy. You do not have long for the fury that you have caused on our people. Every last one of you should take an opportunity right now to give back a little of what your ancestors have taken from us. You don't have to go into that district attorney's office and prosecute that brother or that sister. You don't have to fucking go to do that. You don't have to go to work and put in and, and ride through uh, African uh, neighborhoods and police them because they just standing there on the corner talking. You fucking mad because you got a gun and a badge, some authority. Now that authority has some other authority that's coming down as righteous. And you can feel it. Those dreams that you have at night of black people coming off spaceships. Here it comes. Reality, motherfucker. Reality now. See, my people, I want you to understand something, my infinite light being people. If this would have continued to go on, we'd have been wiped off this motherfucking planet. You gonna you you gonna sit here and tell me that it's only been it's only uh, almost two billion of us, 1.6 billion in Africa, 52 million here. So it's only about one 1.8 billion of black natural black people. I don't mean black people that if their father is black and their mother is some other race and they and they come out like a Barack Obama and Tiger Woods. They're not black. If your mother is not black, you're not black. That's science fucking facts. If you're not black, you're 90% human and 10% Neanderthal. You take on the genetic structure of your mother, not your father. So you mean to tell me it's only been that's it's only uh, one point or seven billion or two billion of us on this planet when you can't when every part of this earth that you have gone to, every fucking part of this earth that you have gone to, whether it's deep in the ocean, whether it's on Mars or the Moon, you have found us and kept that shit a deep fucking secret. We ain't never had no fucking houses. We had pyramids. We lived outside. One globe civilization here on this fucking planet. Period. You can find us deep in the ocean. Civilizations, castles, pyramids built in the oceans. Statues of us in oceans. Deep in the mountains. Anywhere you go, even Antarctica at you as we speak right now. In the, on, on Mars, in the, on the moon. We everywhere. And you still walk around with cognitive dissonance and talk about uh, the white race is the leading race. We came from Africa. You beat this into my grandmother's head that we came from Africa swinging on vines and you came and saved us. You fucking lost your mind. This here comes to an end, my people. We were almost wiped off this planet. If our brothers and sisters didn't come, we were all, we would have almost been wiped off this planet. Just think for one second. The black woman didn't start sleeping with the other races until later on, not till until now. And now you see it's even more evident. We, the black man, the black man, I gotta take full ownership for this shit. We was the ones started fucking around because this entity knew created a fucking a being a race of red light-skinned red motherfuckers your lowest chakra played on your lowest motherfucking chakra which is your ego down there we went the fuck in in, in italy and rome and slaughtered we took seventy thousand men against eight hundred thousand motherfuckers went in there and shut them the fuck down and then we end up staying in there for seven to nine hundred years. You know why the men didn't leave? Don't, don't, and listen, you Italian motherfuckers, don't you sit there and tell us that we were fucking raping y'all. You know we did not rape you. When we walk, you know exactly who we are. We are the fucking gods of this earth. You know exactly what happened. Us men was in our, we was in our lower ego. 
after we finished slaughtering, after we took 70,000 of us and, and slaughtered 800,000 of y'all, when y'all women saw that shit, they knew, they like, yo, these are gods. We, I need to lay down with him. I need, a, I need a son like that. They knew what the fuck they wanted. To, they knew what they wanted. You wouldn't be where you was at today if it wasn't for the fact that we was up there breeding shit with y'all motherfuckers. All of you, to be honest with you. So I understand that we fell because of us. And now we pushed the woman all the way down. But now it's up to us to rise her back the fuck up. See, let me explain something to you. You have more dangerous people that have our genetic code than the fucking white people. Than the people that don't have it. We are more dangerous to our fucking selves. This is why our Sky Brothers and Sisters have to come in return. And that's why a lot of us is going to get wiped the fuck out. That thing, when they when the sky open up and shit, shit turn, they just going to be like, you know what? I ain't drinking no more. I'm not, I love you, my brother. I love you, my sister. No, you got to have that in your heart already. You got to be born with that in your heart. You can't. You don't need nothing. Nothing should put you enough fear to turn around and tell your brother that you love him or your sister that you love them. Nothing should put enough fear in your heart to do that. You already have that in there because you should know that you are connected. If anything happened to your brother or your sister, it's happening to you directly. So if you don't have that love in your heart already, then when the sky open up and our brothers and sisters come down here, don't fucking beg for mercy. Just reincarnate and we'll teach you how to fucking do it the right way. Peace and love to all the goddesses and gods who see the God in me. To all of the queen goddesses and to all of the fellow king gods. And you and all of the beautiful, lovely star seeds out there. I hope you are ready to walk into the age of Aquarius together. And this light being right here, I'll see you and I love you. Peace.